I was gonna say welcome back to my channel, but I feel like I've been gone for so long that I really need to say like thank you for welcoming me back to my channel. Um, is it better with my sunglasses? I'll just leave them on. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk with you guys about really the past like year and a half of our lives because we've kind of like been MIA here on YouTube for a while just because life has been busy and I say that but really a lot of it has to do with the fact that like I'm an Enneagram type 9 I don't know if you guys like have heard of that like personality um, type thing but like usually type 9s shy away from and like really resist things that cause discomfort and for a while like pushing myself to do YouTube um, or you know to film and edit videos was just not cause it was like causing discomfort so I just resisted it and didn't do it and I was kind of like at peace with that I was like whatever I'll just pick it back up whenever I'm ready so now I'm ready um, I'm in the college parking lot where um, we used to live and where my husband Caleb used to work so it's kind of awkward like just sitting here because I don't know like if I'm allowed to be here but if not I'll just leave um, and the reason I'm in the car is because Waylon decided not to nap at his normal time so I actually left the house an hour early to go pick up the girl so I could drive him around and get him to sleep so I don't want to make this too terribly long but just kind of to update you guys about you know just our lives and you know chit chatty chit chat the last time I spoke with you guys or really was trying to film regularly we lived in a trailer right off campus that we were renting from the college um, we could only stay there for a year, so what actually ended up happening is eight months into living there, it was June, and uh, I really didn't want to get to August when school started back for the girls, and then only have a couple months to like find a place to live quickly, and it like disrupt them in any kind of way for school. So we went ahead and made the decision to move in with Caleb's mom and dad. They have like a finished basement that pretty much has like a living room um like mini kitchen and then two bedrooms and a bathroom some of the footage from a little like vloggy clip video that I posted was there was um at their house so we lived there for 10 months um you know saving up money putting money away to purchase a home while we were living in the trailer my husband was working two jobs here at the college and another one um like a place for like troubled uh teenagers he was like one of the counselor people there and what ended up happening while we were living in the basement was he ended up leaving his job here at the college to work in that position in the counseling position full-time and not long after that we decided to kind of like loosely start looking for places to rent we decided that it was still not time for us to buy a home so we um, found a house in April that um, one of our friends, like a friend of a friend, was renting it or about to start renting it out. And it just happened, he just happened to have like just opened up that, this house. So we moved in there. It's the cutest little three bedroom, two bath. It's actually not that big at all, but like it feels big, like coming from the basement. Um, and it is a lot, a lot closer to the girls' schools and, you know, where Caleb works and all this stuff. So, it just kind of made sense to, to do that, to move there. So, we did that and um, we've been there for April, May, June, July, August, September. Coming up now five months and I love it. It is the cutest house. It has its problems, like it's older, but I love it. Like, I really, like, I, I attach myself to places kind of in like a real intense way. And I feel like the reason that I fell in love with this house is because it reminds me a lot of our trailer that we lived in. And the trailer just really, I mean, say what you will about trailers, but it really just seemed to like fit our family <laughs> um, with as many problems as it had, because it had so many problems. The house, some of the layout of our house is nearly identical to our trailer. And so like, it just feels like our home. Waylon turned a year old. I have his video um, posted. He is now um, almost 20 months old and he is such a big boy. He is talking and like doing things on his own and he just looks bigger to me every day. He is so precious. Just such a light in my life. I have been pursuing a couple of jobs. What? 
just because we really do need um, that financially. Um, whenever we moved into the basement, Caleb was working two jobs and we were kind of like used to that income. And now he's only working one job and um, you know, we have like rent and all this kind of stuff to pay for on our own now. We're not like struggling, not by, by any means, but we're definitely um, not even stretched thin. It would just be nice to have a little extra cushion, if you know what I'm saying. So, Caleb is actually also looking for another job. He's not feeling very fulfilled in the position that he's in right now, um, but that's like a whole nother story. Where I'm at right now is I would love to have like a part-time position where um, I maybe wouldn't have to put Waylon in daycare, but would still be able to go pick up the girls. Like, it would just have to work out perfect. And another reason that maybe part-time would be better is because, and I don't even know if I wanna get into this because we are still in like such the beginning stages, like not even, like not even far yet. Caleb and I have decided to pursue um, becoming foster parents. And a big part of that is because um, we had like a family situation a few months ago. We were gonna house and like, you know, take care of a family member's children and it ended up not working out. And it kind of, not, it didn't like make us want to start fostering. We've been wanting to foster for a while. The, the timing just was, just was never right. But since that experience, we've really made it our goal by the end of the year to begin whatever we needed to begin to do this because it just kind of made us realize how easy it is for really good parents to make some decisions that put them in a weird spot where maybe they weren't able to care for their children. It's just without like giving too much away. It's just like a really sad story for a lot of people. I just know how many times me and Caleb were irresponsible and made bad decisions and we always had family support and we always had people there to take care of our kids if we needed. And for someone who doesn't have that support or who may be you know, isn't willing to, to let their family support them, the kids don't need to suffer for that, you know? So, I have so much more mommy love to give and we have made the decision not to have any more biological children um, for a plethora of different reasons. Um, you know, there's like environmental reasons, there's reasons that like, you know, there's already so many people on the planet, um, I don't wanna be pregnant again, <laughs> number one. We're just happy with our family size right now, but there are just so many kids that like, they deserve to have someone who loves them um, and is able to make the responsible decisions for them. Because I'm not saying that like birth parents don't love their kids. That's not what I'm saying. But we just feel that we could give, you know, kids a loving home while, they're, while their families work on whatever they need to work on. So anyway, I don't want to get too far into that because we, we haven't even like taken any classes yet. Like we're still super beginning stages of pursuing this. But... It is definitely so close to our hearts. Hey y'all, sorry, my camera overheated because um, like the sun was directly on it and um, I'm back home. <laughs> That's why it looks different. But now I've got to go pick up the girls. Waylon's awake, so whatever. Um, I don't even really remember what I was talking about, but Anyway, that's just kind of an update as far as like where our family's at, like what we're doing. I'm not exactly like where my place is in YouTube right now. Um, I don't really want to do vlogs because while those are super easy to film, they're a little more difficult to edit for me. Like it takes more time and again, I'm just like, I can't make myself be disciplined to do it. So I would like to do more like sit down videos, particularly about like mental health and stuff like that because I have been doing a lot of work for the past couple months um, on myself. I'm not saying that it's possible for everyone to just like work their mental health away. Not that I'm working it away, but I'm just doing a lot of like in inward work for myself. Um, and it's making me, you know, not only like a better person, like for my family and for myself, but like it's making me feel better. So I'm not just like better on the outside for other people. I'm better like on the inside, like for myself, like I'm happier and like I just feel better. So if you guys have been watching the whole time, if you stayed with me this entire time, thank you. I will hopefully have, I'll hopefully have some fresh stuff up for you guys soon. So stay tuned. Um, I'll leave like my Instagram stuff right here. Uh, he's back there talking. Um, bye guys.